Let's take a look at a collision problem now between Iron Man and Superman. Iron Man, with a mass of 350 kilograms, is flying north at a velocity of 60 meters per second when he collides head-on with the distracted 100 kilogram Superman, who is flying south at a velocity 100 meters per second. The two stick together after the collision, therefore this is an inelastic collision. Determine their velocity with direction after the collision. Well, anytime I see this sort of problem, the first thing I do is I make a momentum table and look at what I have with my problem. I have, first of all, a couple of superheroes. I have Iron Man, Superman, and we'll also have a row for total. If we look at the momentum before the collision in kilogram meters per second, and we can also look at the momentum after the collision in kilogram meters per second. As I fill in my table, I realize that Iron Man and Superman are going to start out as separate objects, but after they collide, they stick together, so really they become, in essence, one object. Now, as we start the problem, Iron Man has a mass of 350 kilograms flying north at 60 meters per second. We'll call north positive. So his momentum before the collision is 350 kilograms times 60 meters per second, or 21,000 kilogram meters per second. Superman, however, is 100 kilograms, much less mass, and he's flying south at 100 meters per second. Realize we need to put a negative sign in front of our velocity to the south because that's in the opposite direction as the velocity of Iron Man. So that's going to be 100 kilograms times negative 100 meters per second, or negative 10,000 kilogram meters per second. Now, after the collision, we realize these two stick together, so their combined mass is going to be 450 kilograms times some final velocity we don't know yet. We'll call that VF. Now I just add up my columns for totals. Iron Man, 21,000 plus Superman negative 10,000 gives us a total momentum before the collision of 11,000 kilogram meters per second. After the collision, all we have is 450 kilograms times some final velocity. And the law of conservation of momentum says that the total momentum before must be equal to the total momentum after. Therefore, 11,000 equals 450 VF. If I solve for VF by dividing both sides by 450, I find out that I get a final velocity of 24.4 meters per second. And since that's positive, that must be in the same direction as what we called positive earlier, or north.